So today I'm here to teach you how to live stream your DJ set with great sounding audio but without any additional hardware. No iRig required, no TRRS converter required, nothing. I'm going to show you how to do this with and without OBS. All you need is a controller or a mixer and that's it. Let's jump right into it. What's good you guys? My name is Deep and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is where I do a lot of DJing related tutorials, tips and tricks to help you become a better DJ. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So most of the DJs around the world have finally sorted their live streams with great sounding audio and video using OBS and several different methods. But because of the current world situation, there are a lot of us out there who do not have access to or can't acquire the iRig 2 or a TRRS converter like the Rode SC4. And even worse, some of us do not even have the DJ equipment. All you have is a controller. And that's quite obvious. Most of the DJs out there will not have CDJs and mixers at home. What they will have instead is a DJ controller. So today I'm here to teach you the easiest way to live stream your DJ sets with great sounding audio if you have just the controller or a mixer. And no, you don't need the iRig 2 or a TRRS converter. And this method will work for both laptop and a desktop and it will work in both Mac and Windows. Method 1. Great sounding audio without using OBS. This method is essential. Even if you want to use the second method which uses OBS, you will still need to follow all the steps that I'm going to tell you in this method for method 2 to work. So please do not skip any steps. First, I'm going to show you how to set up a controller and then I'll show you how to set up a mixer. Part 1. How to set up your controller. The trick is to find a way to send the audio from the software which is Rekordbox or Traktor and send it directly to Facebook Live. And we are going to do that using a virtual cable. A virtual cable is a program that tricks your computer into thinking that it has a mixer connected and it routes the output signal back into the computer and which can then be used to send the audio signals directly onto Facebook and other live streaming platforms. Let me show you how to do that now. You will need to download a program called Soundflower or Black Hole for this to work if you're a Mac user. But if you're a Windows user, you will need to download a program called the VB Cable. You can use Soundflower if you're a Tractor user. I'm going to use Rekordbox and that's why I'm going to use Black Hole for this demonstration because I'm a Mac user. But the process is the same in both Mac and Windows. I'll leave the download links down in the description box for you guys to download so you can go ahead and download them now. Once downloaded, go ahead and install the software. Installing the software is quite straightforward. All you need to do is follow the on-screen instructions and you should be good to go. Once done, Restart your computer and open the audio MIDI setup application on your MacBook. This is where you will see your audio drivers and you can see black hole 16 channel here. Right click on it and select use this device for sound output and that's it. You can close this menu now. Now connect your controller and open record box. I'm using the DDJ 400 for this demonstration because I feel that this is what most people will have. But you can use any controller and it works the same. Open the settings or preferences menu in record box. Click on audio and make sure your controller is selected in the audio driver setup. Right below that, make sure you check on the box that says select output from both DDJ 400 and built-in audio. Next, scroll all the way down to the master output channel and select DDJ 400 master plus black hole 16 channel. The black hole 16 channel is what you really need here. And now you're done. Now all you need to do is open your browser and go to facebook.com but make sure you're using the Firefox browser because this method doesn't work with Chrome or Safari. So if you don't have Firefox, first download Firefox from the website and then go to facebook.com. Once you're on Facebook, go ahead and click on the go live feature. Once you select go live, you can then select your camera that you want to use as a video device and in the audio section is what you need to pay attention. Select the black hole 16 channel instead of anything else and that is what will route the signal from within your computer directly onto Facebook. And that's it. You can go live directly from here with great sounding audio and it's that simple. Part 2 is how to set up your mixer to do the same. If you're a DJ who has a mixer, what you need to be sure of is if your mixer has a sound card or not. If your mixer has a sound card, 
you can follow the steps that I'm gonna show you now. This method will not work if your mixer doesn't have a sound guard. Look for a USB type B slot on your mixer and if you have that, you should be able to use this. I have a few mixers here that I can show you. This is the DJM 900 Nexus 2 and this is the DJM 450 and this is the DJM 250 Mark II and all these mixers have a sound card. The setup process is almost the same for any mixer that has a sound card. Let me show you how to set it up now. Step one is obviously connecting your mixer via the USB cable to the computer and open the driver settings utility. If you don't see this option, make sure that the drivers are installed and restart your computer. Once you open the settings utility, you will see a screen like this. This is where you can see your mixer is connected. Once connected, all you need to do is change two settings. First thing that you need to do is go to the mixer output section and select mix record out in USB channel 1 and 2. And the second thing you'll have to do is change the USB output level from minus 19 dB which is by default to minus 5 dB. You will have to do this because you need to have enough headroom for your live streams without distorting the signal. If you maintain a good healthy signal on your mixer, your live streams will sound amazing. That's about it from here. You can close this application and you can go to the browser and go live on Facebook directly. The process for going live is the same. Open Facebook, select your camera and this time in the audio section, select the mixer that you want to output the signal from. In this case, I'm going to use the Nexus 2, but if you have the 250 or the 450, select those and that's it. Click on go live and you should be good to go. So that's how easy it is to live stream your DJ set with great sounding audio. But make sure you use the Firefox browser because Safari and Google Chrome do not support this feature at the moment. Now, if you want to make your live streams even better or for some reason method 1 doesn't work for you, let me show you the next step in this process to make it work using OBS. Method 2. Setting up OBS for great audio and video. As I mentioned in the beginning, method 2 requires you to follow all the steps from method 1 as well. So make sure you follow all the steps that I mentioned in method 1, otherwise you will not be able to use method 2. In this method, we're going to use OBS as a platform to live stream your DJ set. So OBS is just a broadcasting software that helps you do that. Once you're done setting up your controller or the mixer like I showed you in method 1, all you need to do is go ahead and download OBS from the official website and install it. I'll leave links down in the description box along with all the other information and details. Installing again is quite simple. All you need to do is follow the on-screen instructions and you should be fine. Once it's installed, open the application and you will see a screen like this. At first, this may look a little confusing, but trust me, it's easier than mixing two songs. So I'm sure you can do it too. As I mentioned earlier, we're just using this program to set up a professional live stream. So we are going to do this in three simple steps. Step one is setting up your native resolution. Step two is setting up the scene and the source. Step three is setting up the stream itself. Now the first thing that you need to do is set up the resolution. In OBS, open the preferences or settings and then go to video. Change the base and output resolution to 1280 into 720 and this will give you a nice full screen experience. Step two is setting up the scene and source. Click on the plus icon here and name it whatever you like. I'm gonna name it DB Facebook Live. You can obviously use whatever you want. Now that your scene is created, we need to add video and audio into this live stream and that's done in the sources tab. Now in the sources tab, let's add the video first. So under the sources tab, click on the plus icon here and select a video capture device. Name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name it DB Live Camera Angle 1 and click OK. Now the Properties tab will open up. This is where you will select the device that you want to use for capturing your video. I'm going to use the webcam for this purpose, but you can use the built-in camera as well. Select the device and select the resolution to the highest possible for the best video output and then click OK. Now your video is added, but we still need to add the audio. For that, once again, you will click on the plus sign here in the sources tab and click on add new input capture device. Again, you can name this whatever you like. I'm just going to name it DB Live Audio and click OK. Now, this is where you need to pay attention. If you're a controller DJ, you will have to select the Black Hole 16 channel program or the Soundflower program, whatever you've installed as your audio source. And if you're a DJ who is using a mixer, you will have to select that particular mixer that you're going to use. 
Let's go ahead with DJM 900 Nexus 2 for this example and then click OK. And that's it. Your scene is set and your sources are ready. Next is the audio mixer. Play something and check that the signal here looks healthy. Try to be within the yellow region and that should be fine. Once you're done setting up the resolution, the scene and the source, you're pretty much ready to live stream. All you need to do is set up the stream. For that, click on the settings here and click on stream. Choose the service from the drop down menu. In our case, it's Facebook Live, so we're gonna choose that. Leave the server as default and now it's time to add the stream key. To get the stream key, simply click on the get stream key option that will open up Facebook on your browser. Then click on create live stream. And this is where you can get the stream key. Click on use stream key, search for the stream key and click copy. Go back to OBS and add the stream key. Now click OK. Now that your stream key is set, all you need to do is click on start streaming and the signal will be received by Facebook, but you still can't go live. What you need to do now is go to Facebook and you can see the preview there. Now all you need to do is click go live and that's it. Your live stream is now up and running with great video and great audio. Now that's how easy it was to set up your live stream with great sounding audio and you also got to learn the basics of OBS. If you think this is too complicated, you can go ahead and check out my other videos where I showed a few more ways of going live. I'll link them down in the description box as well. We have just touched the surface of using OBS and creating a professional live stream. There's a lot more you can do like adding graphics, adding a green screen, adding your logo, adding multiple angles, creating multiple scenes, switching between different scenes. All of that is possible within OBS. I can show you how to do that, but I know someone who can do this better. And that person is my brother, Jasmeet. In fact, he was one of the first people here in Bangalore, if not India, to start a stream like this before everyone else followed. And all this is a bit more advanced. So if you're interested in something like this, please comment in the comment section below and let me know. And I shall bring him to my studio and we will show you how to set up an even more professional live stream. And even if you don't comment, I will still convince him to come to my studio and do this video and that video will come out soon. So don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss that video when that comes out. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this informative video and learned a lot of things today. I absolutely love doing these tutorial videos and teaching you guys. I hope you love them too. That's it for today guys. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Happy to help.